हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोड विद अनुराग वेयर यू कैन फाइंड लेटेस्ट जॉब अपडेट्स एंड कंप्लीट प्लेस इन प्रिपरेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई डिस्कस वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आफ्टर रिसीविंग योर एन क्यू टी स्कोर कार्ड सो इफ यू हैव रिसीव योर टी सी एस एन क्यू टी स्कोर कार्ड एंड वेटिंग फॉर इंटरव्यू मेल फ्रॉम टी सी एस देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई डिस्कस हाउ टू चेक योर इंटरव्यू स्टेटस आई मीन हाउ टू वेरीफाई वेदर यू हैव अप्लाइड करेक्टली और नॉट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट योर इंटरव्यू मेल फ्रॉम टी In this video, I'll discuss everything regarding this, and I'll try to clear all doubts regarding your interview and NQT scorecard. So please watch full video for better understanding. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let's divide this video in two parts. First part is uh, where I will explain how to verify whether you have applied correctly or not for your interview, and second part is I'll discuss. Which type of email you will receive from TCS for your interview, right? So let's discuss second part first, right? So suppose if you have applied correctly and then which type of email you will receive from TCS, right? So after receiving your NQT scorecard and if you are selected for interview, then which type of email you will receive first? So this is the first email which you will receive from TCS. So in this email they will mention like this: Greetings from TCS. Trust you are doing good. Congratulations. We are pleased to inform. you based on your performance in tcs and qt you are being you are being invited for a interview with tcs right and they have mentioned one more thing the uh, the regional tcs campus uh, talent acquisition team would be sending you a email shortly on the interview schedule right so this is the first email which is uh, just uh, indicating that you are selected for interview and you will receive an interview mail in next email right so after receiving this mail within next th next 3 months you will receive another email with the details regarding the interview right this type of email you will receive right so here you can see they have mentioned tcs ninja interview please note here they will mention either ninja or digital based upon your performance in your tcs mqt score if you will perform well like exceptionally well then you will receive interview mail for digital offer for digital your salary will be Seven lakhs per annum, and for Ninja, your salary will be around three point three lakhs per annum for B Tech candidates and three point five three LPA for M Tech or M C A candidates, right? And for Ninja profile, so here you will receive this type of email: greetings from uh, T C S. Right, based on your performance in T C S and Q T, we are happy to invite you for an interview with T C S. This type of email you will mention here. They will mention date, time, meeting link, everything they will mention here, right? So. If you have received this email, it means you are done now. You need to attend your interview on the uh, committed date, right? Scheduled date. So this is part two. This is done now. Let's discuss about the part one, where let's discuss how you can verify whether you have applied correctly or not, right? So to do that, let's go to next step portal. Don't worry, I'll provide this URL in the description box. right so you need to visit this website then you need to log in here make sure you need to provide the same email id which you entered while time of registration for next step portal so here you need to enter your email id or reference id whatever and password then here you need to provide the captcha that is 06669 right this will be di different in your case simply you need to log in here just wait so yeah i logged in successfully right here you can see my name and here you will not see these many options because you will at this time you will not receive offer letter right uh, you once you will receive the offer letter then you will find this option right offer letter these options you will find but don't worry in your case you can see this option track my application this is the most important part of this so here you can verify whether you have applied correctly or not so how you can verify you must see this option applied for a drive if you are able to see this option applied for a drive then it means you have applied correctly for your for your interview if you are not able to see this option it means you did not apply correctly for your interview and if you are not able to see this option then you will not receive any interview mail from tcs right i'll i'll discuss what is the solution for this before that let me discuss so um, by the way you will receive the, you will see these three options but this option is very important this one applied for a drive right if you can see this option and after that if you can see this option as well candidate badge Bad, right? So it means you will definitely receive your interview. Uh, you are selected for interview, and you will definitely receive your interview mail. However, this this step may take time. It may take up to three months as well. But this is the 
most important step applied for a drive make sure you are able to see this applied for a drive in your next step portal if you are able to see then you don't have to do anything just you have to wait for your interview but if you can't see this option it means uh, you did some mistake what mistake you did so at the time of registration for your nqt exam uh, on next step portal there was an option apply for a drive it means at that time you did not click on that option applied for a drive apply for a drive right so uh, now you will not receive any interview mail if you can't see that option so what is the solution for that so solution is now you need to wait because currently thesis has closed new registration right so what you have to do you need to wait once thesis will start new registration then again you will able to see that option at the top here you will find one option apply for a drive so at that time once they will start the new registration then you need to click on that apply for a drive then you need to fill the details then you are done after that you will be able to see that option apply for a drive then once you can see this option then you are done right so however that process may take up to two or three months because uh, teachers did not disclose any uh, official information like when they are going to open new registration right but expected time is within next two three months they will again start new registration so you need to wait for next two or three months right and after that yeah. one more important thing now the question is do you need to again write thesis and qt exam answer is no you don't need to write thesis and qt exam again because if you have scored good marks i mean good marks means more than 65 percent marks in your nqt exam right then you don't need to attend nqt exam again based on your same nqt scorecard you can apply for a drive after next two or three months whenever the thesis will start new registration at the same time you can you can apply for a drive with the same NQT exam. You don't need to attend NQT exam again, right? But if you want, then you can again write thesis NQT exam it, if it's free NQT hiring. Then you can do that. Uh, and please note, uh, the best score will be considered. Suppose if, if in your previous NQT score, you have scored 70% marks. And in your next NQT score, if you have scored only 50% marks, then don't worry. You don't have to worry. Your best score will be considered. Like it means your 70% scorecard will be considered. And let's uh, discuss another case. Suppose in your previous NQT, if you have scored 70% marks, and in your next score, in your next NQT exam, you have scored 80% marks. Then again, your 80% marks will be considered because only best marks will be considered for your interview right so don't worry if you want then you can attend nqt exam again but if don't worry if you have scored good marks then based on that nqt scorecard only you can apply for a drive right yeah so this was the information regarding how you can verify so simple let me conclude if you can see this option apply for a drive then you don't have to worry but if you can't see this option then you need to worry then you have to again apply for a drive after two or three months whenever thesis will start new registration right yeah and if you want to know which type of question they will ask in the interview right and how to prepare then don't worry i have already uploaded a video regarding that you can watch that video either by clicking on this i button or you can find link of that video in the description box so please check it out yeah that's it from my side in this video if you have any doubt please feel free to ask in comment box you can join our telegram channel i'll provide link in the description box if you think this video is helpful like this video and you can subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching this video